Hi, welcome to RLB Artbox Studio video instructions. For the month of June, we are creating a three-dimensional distressed lotus flower. Step one, locate the petal cutout stencils and the scissors. Using the scissors, carefully cut out the petal stencils. You will later use these to trace onto the watercolor paper. Step 2A. Using six of the watercolor paper strips, fold each strip in half. Step 2B. Trace your petals onto the strips. Two strips are for the large petals two strips are for the medium petals, and two strips are for the remaining petals. Once done tracing and cutting, you will have 16 petals total. Step 3A, lay down the sheet of wax paper and unfold the watercolor strips. Place each strip on the wax paper. Step 3B, using the Tim Holtz Distress Stain, you're going to apply the stain, also known as the ink, to the watercolor paper strips. Once the ink is applied, lightly mist the strips with water. Flip your watercolor paper over and repeat this step. You will do all of the paper strips this way. Once you apply the water, to the ink, it creates this really cool molten or um, crackle effect, if you will. It is really, really neat. The more water you add, the more it will do this. Step 3C. You may also use the paper towel to blot the ink. Once you're done using the ink, step 3D, you will allow all paper strips to dry. Dry time depends on how much ink you used. I would allot at least 20 to 30 minutes. Step 4A, cut out a lily pad using the scissors. Once cut, set the lily pad aside. Step 4B, create the center of the flower by cutting the yellow paper. Cut slits along one side, the long side of the yellow paper. Step 4C, roll the yellow paper and hold in place with a glue dot. Once it's held in place, set the center of your flower aside.
Step 5A. Refold the colored watercolor paper strips. Step 5B. Cut out all of the petals. Try to keep the petals organized by size. It will make things easier for the next step. Step 5C. Using the scissors or the pencil, curl each petal. Step 6A. Assemble the lotus flower. Start with the large petals. Create an X with two petal cutouts. Then hold in place with a glue dot. Repeat with the other two large petal cutouts. Step 6B. Attach the two X's, making sure all of the petals are visible. Step 6C. Repeat step 6A with all of the petal cutout sizes. Step 6D. Stack and attach the petals using glue dots. The petal order is largest to smallest. Step 7A. Attach the lotus flower to the cutout lily pad using a glue dot. Step 8A. Attach the flower's yellow center using a glue dot. Step 8B. Congratulations on your finished work of art. Remember, you have enough supplies to make another 3D distressed lotus flower. We hope that you enjoyed this art box project. Until next time.